Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will see how to create a custom observable. So that means how to create a new observable from the scratch. We'll try to see. Up to now, what we have did, we have created an observable using the predefined functions that are present in the RxJS, like from, from event or OFOF. Like this, we have used. Okay, so these are all some of the predefined functions which are present in the RxJS for creating an observable. Okay, so now we have an array. We have, we have converted this. Uh, array into an observable using from something like that so from you have used and from event we have used so these are all some of the even some of the predefined, predefined functions that are present in the rxjs now what we will try to do is instead of using this from we will try to create our own how to create our own custom observable we will try to see it so how to create our own observable means so let's try to do it here what i will try to do is so let's try to create a new component ngGC components so I am creating a component slash new observable. Why I am creating is so in order to write the code in a new component so that it will be very easy to understand. So I am creating a component new observable. Let's try to create it. Now the component has been created. Let's open that component. Here if you try to see here this is the new observable.ts file. Now here if you want to open if you want to create a new observable. So there are two ways to create a new observable. So that is nothing but so constant new observable. Let's try to take one variable new observable is equal to so we can use a new observable. So this is present in RxJS. So this is observable. This is a method present in the RxJS using this new observable. It will create an object and here you need to send the observer. Okay. So you as we already know that observer will, con will contain the three methods that is nothing but next error and complete. So using those three methods, the observable will call those three methods according to the situation. So if any error occurs, it will call you that observer dot error, observer dot next if you want to send the data. If it is complete, it means observer dot complete. So automatically the methods will be executed in the appropriate observer. So now if you want to send a data, so for example, I want to send a data. So this is an observable. So this is an observer we are trying to send. And here, we, if you want to send a data means I can do something like observer dot next of one. So if you want to send another data, you can send it next of two, next of three, next of four. Like this, you can send the data. And now what I can do, for example, if you want to send means you can loop over for, for let i is equal to zero, i less than five and i plus plus. I can use something like this and I can do observer dot next of i. Okay, sorry, i. So I can use like this. And if I want to send the data, how can I uh, now if I al already if everything is completed means what I can do observer dot complete. I can do after sending all these five five variables. So I can do observer dot complete. So this is how we will be creating a new observable. So after creating a new observable. So now we need to subscribe to this new observable. So a new observable has been created. Now if you want to get the data from this observable means what you need to do. We need to subscribe to that observable. So how to subscribe to that observable? So here in this ng on init only, I can do something like new observable, okay, dot subscribe. I need to subscribe. And here what we need to do? We need to send the data, okay. So let's think that we have an observer. So let observer, so we need to create an observer. And we already know that observer, observer what it will contain? It will contain three methods. That is nothing but next. So next it will contain a data. And here I can do something like console.log of data. Okay. Sorry, it should be a comma. It's as it is an object. So here data, it is asking the type. So number, it should be of type number. And now here what I can do? Another one will be error. So next one. So it will it will contain error. If any error occurs, it will contain the string. Now here I can do console.log error. Okay. And another one is the last one is the complete. So these are the three methods we will contain. And here what I can do? Console.log complete all done. Okay. So this is the observer. Now we can send this observer here. Instead of mentioning this one directly ob object here. So I am creating in one variable and I am setting that variable. Now here it is asking that observer it contains the type of number. So here we are type of number, right? So it is expecting that this observer has to send the number. But here we didn't mention, right? So here you can mention generic type that it will send a number okay so here we are sending only number right so that is the reason now we have subscribed now we have subscribed to this observable we have created a new observable and also we have subscribed to that new observable and we have sent an observer so whenever this observable 
sends a data so this observer this object has been sent right so this observer has been sent here dot subscribe so this one will be sent so whenever it wants to send the data it will call this next method observer dot next of one so immediately this next method will be executed so this one will be entered here and it will be executed console dot log so let's try to see the output so if you want to see the output what we need to do we need to add it here so this one is nothing but app iphone new observable right so let's go to the app component html here i can write app iphone new iphone observable okay i am adding it here let's try to see the output so here if you try to see the output here you will be able to see see 0 1 2 3 4 it has been sent by the new observable and here complete all done so now now by using this one we have created a new obs custom observable by our own now if you try to see here so now if i try to do less than or equal to 5 if i do less than or equal to 5 let's see so it will try to send 0 1 2 3 4 5 so if you want to send you i can i can do something like set timeout okay set timeout so i will i want to send each one for some time okay so now i want to send each one every second thousand every second now if you see if you observe so how it will be it will send something like what happened here so it will send something like one second so why it is not sending is so we have called the observer dot complete so here loop has been done and immediately it is executing right so what we can do is so we need to remove this observer dot complete and then it will execute okay if you try to see here complete all done so automatically it is executing one by one why because so after one second it is executing the data okay so now what i can do here something like uh, so we can do whatever the logic we want we can implement something like here let timer is equal to thousand okay so or otherwise let timer is equal to zero so now what i can do here timer plus thousand so for every time i am incrementing the timer so now if i try to see here see for every second it is executing so one by one it will come automatically one two three four five okay you are able to observe right so like this we can execute this one using like this so now whenever you call the complete observer dot complete automatically everything will be done so now what i can do is so here i can remove this set time mode now if what i can do is here i can write the logic in a such a way that if i is equal to is equal to 4 okay if i is equal to is equal to 4 means uh, i want to raise the error so unknown error unknown error so i can write i value is 4 something like this i am writing so if it, i value is equal to is equal to 4 means then we need to call so now here i can write observer dot complete okay now what i will try to do is, let's try to see the output here see 0 1 2 3 has executed and immediately it came that unknown error i value is 4 it is sending the value automatically the error will be executing here and now you need to observe that whenever the error has been thrown so complete will not execute okay so when this complete will execute is so if it is no error or anything only then the complete will be executed after all completing of the next thing or otherwise if error occurs means this complete will not be executed so this is how we will be creating our new observable so whenever we are try trying to send the data you will be using this observer dot next whenever you have, if you have any error or anything means you will be calling observer dot error so that it will be captured by this error method whenever you are sending the data next method will be fired observer dot complete when it will be fired is here when you are whenever you are observer is complete done with the data sending means so it will call this observer dot complete so then when this observer dot complete is fired means it will not send again so if you write observer dot next here it will not execute observer dot next i want to send 100 something like this means 1000 means so this will not execute whenever this complete is done means done that's it so before doing only you need to send the data okay before doing only you need to send the data before complete only you need to sec next send the data after complete means you cannot send the data okay so this is how we will be creating a new observable if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you